Lexus LC Review. Our rating. 4 star. Lexus rival for Mercedes SL and BMW 6 Series takes a high-tech and style-led approach and it works surprisingly well. 4. Performance from hybrid, V8 noise, driver enjoyment and comfort, quality, and kit levels. Against. Looks will divide opinion, advanced CVT still isn't the perfect solution, interior ergonomics. Lexus has never shied away from a challenge, taking on the big German premium mark across its model range. Now it's taking on big coupes like the Mercedes SL and BMW 6 Series with the LC and it does it rather well. We love the high approach to making a hybrid powertrain and CVT gearbox work well, while the V8 engine is a joy to drive hard, but does need revs to really deliver. The handling is pretty impressive, too, with plenty of grip and poise, even if the steering lacks a Porsche 911S precision, which is what engineers were aiming for. There's also a fair amount of comfort and refinement when cruising, confirming the LC's GT credentials. As with all Lexus models, quality is outstanding inside and out but equally as with all Lexus models the cabin is a mess of buttons and controls, while the remote touch infotainment controller is way behind rival systems for usability. This isn't a particularly practical GT calling it a 2 plus 2 would be stretching it a bit as the rear seats are best for bags, especially as the boot isn't exactly cavernous. But as a complete package, Lexus has made a compelling alternative to the established German GTS. Our choice. Lexus LC500H. The GT market isn't exactly booming right now that's one of the reasons Jaguar chose to go down the F-type route rather than replace the XK. But that hasn't stopped Lexus launching its LC500, 5.0 V8, and LC500H, 3.5 liter V6 hybrid, against the BMW 6 Series, Mercedes SL, and Maserati Gran Turismo. The LC is the first model to use Lexus new GAL, global architecture large, platform that will also be used in the new LS saloon as well as other rear drive models like the Lexus GS and IS. So you can expect the V8 and hybrid powertrains to find their way into the LS, too. Tech fans will love the hybrid version with its clever CVT gearbox. It uses a combination of CVT and a 4-speed traditional gearbox bolted onto the end to become a 10-speeder. It all but eliminates the rubber band feeling of traditional CVTS, while being quick to change and enhances the performance of the car, the hybrid is only 0.3 seconds off the V8S 4.4 SEC 0 to 60 miles per hour time. As well as the two engine options, there are three trim levels, Luxury, Sport, and Sport Plus. Luxury gets a glass roof, while Sport adds a carbon fiber roof and sports seats. Sport and adds in active aerodynamics, a limited slip differential and rear wheel steering, all to sharpen up the responses of the car. As well as benchmarking the Porsche 911, especially for steering feel, and the engine note of the Maserati Gran Turismo's V8, Lexus has tried to imbue the LC with the spirit of its acclaimed Alfa supercar. The dash is similar, with a single dial that slides sideways to reveal further information. It might not have the Lfus firepower or poise, but the LC is one of the best driver's cars Lexus has so far made. Engines, Performance, and Drive 4.3 Star Both V8 and Hybrid have plenty of punch, but neither is scintillating. Otherwise the LC does the GT things well, with close to sports car agility. Engines your Lexus LC can come in two flavors a more traditional 5.0 liter V8 with 471 bhp and a clever 3.5 liter V6 hybrid with 295 bhp. Yet in spite of the power difference, the V6 is only 0.3 secs slower from 0 to 60 miles per hour, taking 4.7 secs compared with the V8s time of 4.4 secs. The V8 has by far the most in-gear oomph, though, and its traditional auto with multi-plate clutch snaps through the gear changes, especially with the car in sport or sport and mode. All models grip well and turn in sharply, 
even though the steering lacks a little in feel, but sport and models with their limited slip differential and rear wheel steering add a degree of sharpness and make this big coupe feel far more nimble than you'd expect from a car of this size and weight. The V6 Hybrid uses a clever CVT gearbox with an added 4-speed auto attached to it. With three engineered CVT steps for every one of the first three gears in the standard auto, plus the fourth being an overdrive, you effectively get a 10-speed box. It's been designed to eliminate the rubber band feel of CVTS and by and large does the job it's still not entirely natural, though, with a slight hold as the box can't help but hold the revs at the most efficient engine point for a moment longer than a normal auto would. That said, the hybrid still offers a decent level of performance and an enjoyable V6 sound, but with the added bonus of improved fuel consumption and lower emissions. And tech fans will love how the gearbox does its work. MPG, CO2 and running costs. 3.7 star. The hybrid is targeting 4.4 MPG pretty impressive in this sort of car, while you'll be lucky to get 2.4 MPG from the V8. Lexus hasn't yet released economy and CO2 figures for the LC, but the hybrid should put up a reasonable performance given the performance on offer Lexus is hoping it'll average around 4.4 MPG in the official tests, which will be a good result. Especially when you compare that with the V8, which will struggle to do around 2.4 MPG. So these won't be cheap cars to buy or to run, but at least you shouldn't get any unexpected bills in the long run if the brand's reliability record is anything to go by Lexus continually sits at the top of our driver power satisfaction survey with strong reliability scores contributing to the strong performances. Interior, Design, and Technology 3.2 Star Build quality is strong, but design is a mixed bag from the minimalist door panels to the ergonomic mess that is the dashboard. There's a throwback to the Lexus Alfa supercar inside the LC. The large dial in the center of the instrument binnacle will slide sideways to reveal another screen that controls some of the vehicle settings and provides more driving data. It's a neat touch and a bit of showmanship, but sadly the rest of the interior is something of a mixed bag. The Takumai craftsmanship is evident throughout the cabin, none more so than on the sweeping door panels with what appears like a floating handle a minimalist delight. Sadly the dash and steering wheel are an ergonomic mess with buttons littered about like popcorn on a cinema floor. For example, you'll either leave the lane departure warning on or, more likely, off so why stick a button controlling it on the steering wheel? and the horn sticking out of the instrument binnacle with controls for the driving modes on one side and the traction control on the other look like the designers forgot to include a few more buttons elsewhere. Lexus would do well to benchmark BMW's iDrive system for vehicle and infotainment controls. That said, quality is exceptional, though, and the seats are really comfy, whether you go for luxury spec with material that flows over the seat shoulders like Superman's cape, or the grippier seats in sport and sport and models. And whichever model you choose, there'll be plenty of technology on board to make life easier and to pamper you as you'd expect in a luxury GT. SAT NAV, Stereo and Infotainment Audio files have long headed to Lexus for a great in-car experience and the LC should be no different with the latest 13-speaker system of high-end hi-fi specialists Mark Levinson. The system has been specially tuned for the LC and is the first to feature Clarify technology that boosts compressed audio files like those stored on smartphones almost back to their uncompressed state. If you don't opt for the Mark Levinson system, there's a bespoke pioneer surround sound system for you to feast your ears on. The infotainment and navigation is displayed on a clear and wide screen in the center of the dash, but Lexus has persisted with its remote touch control system that uses a touchpad and far too many steps for each action others, notably BMW's iDrive, do it much better. Practicality, Comfort, and Boot Space 3.2 Star Rear space is limited in the LC so it's best suited to two people with boot space to match. Small boot is smaller in hybrid. Size at 4,770 mm long and 1,920 mm wide, the LC isn't a small car. 
Yet not much of that seems to be translated to room inside the cabin. Leg room, head room and passenger space. Although the LC is billed as a 2 plus 2, it's far more of a two-seater with a couple of seats behind that are best thought of as extended luggage space you'll struggle to get anyone in the back unless the driver and passenger are willing to make a big compromise on their own legroom. For those in the front, though, things are fine there's good leg, head, and shoulder space with comfy seats different in luxury and sport models but not a huge amount of cubby space around the cabin. Boot. If you're not expecting a huge amount of luggage space in the LC you won't be disappointed there's only 197 liters in the boot of the V8 model, which reduces to 172 liters in the hybrid due to the battery pack under the boot floor. In spite of a high lip, it's a wide space and loading isn't too difficult. Reliability and Safety 4.8 Star Given Lexus consistent high scoring in driver power, you'd expect an LC to keep owners satisfied. Strong roster of safety kit, too. Lexus has become a byword for reliability and satisfaction with dealers going out of their way to keep customers happy. The brand and its models are consistent high achievers in our driver power customer satisfaction survey over the past 15 years. The desire to produce reliable cars is evident in the engineering choices for example, the auto gearbox in the V8 is a traditional automatic with multi-plate clutch as that's deemed to wear less than a DSG twin clutch system. The Lexus safety system and is also included on the LC, which comprises a pre-crash safety system, autonomous emergency braking plus pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane keep assist with lane departure warning, automatic high beam LED lights and road sign recognition. Warranty You'd hope not to need to call on a Lexus warranty, but there's three years cover just in case.